Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to create Cousin It from the Adams Family using Dollar Tree products. You are going to be amazed how simple this DIY is, but it really is a ton of fun. But before we get started, if you are new here, please do consider subscribing down below. There's going to be a ton of Halloween content on the way very soon. The first thing you're going to need to create Cousin It are his iconic sunglasses, and I picked this pair up from the Dollar Tree. They usually have this one in stock. I've actually used it in the past for other DIYs, so they've had this exact pair for a few years. The other thing you're going to need are these hula skirts. That's actually why I'm sharing this DIY a little bit early, because Dollar Tree still has these on the shelves with their summer items, but if you cannot find them at Dollar Tree, do not worry. Party City usually always has these in stock, and I'm going to list some similar options down below that are still inexpensive that you can just order from Amazon. For this DIY today, I'm going to be using two of the adult size hula skirts, but if you want your cousin it to be a little bit fuller, you can go ahead and use three. Now, the third thing we're going to need is a hat. I found this one at Dollar Tree in their party supply area. It's just a plastic hat, but these are some of the other options they had. This hat here actually came in black, which would be perfect for Cousin It. I just wasn't loving the shape of it. Dollar Tree also had these sun hats, which could work as well. But once I saw this hat, I knew it was the perfect shape. It just wasn't the right color, but I figured it would be pretty easy to spray paint. So I'm going to be using this black Rust-Oleum semi-gloss spray paint. I love this one because it's really user-friendly and it does cover up really quickly. I can find a link for this one. I'll leave it down below in the description box. So for the top of the hat, I did end up doing two coats. And then once that was completely dry, I flipped it over and I did one quick coat on the inside. And here is how it turned out when it was completely dry. So you can see it definitely covered up that blue. The inside I wasn't as worried about, so I just did one quick coat because I knew you weren't going to really see it. So now we should have our hat, our sunglasses, and our hula skirts. Now the last thing we're going to need is a tomato cage. This is going to be the structure of Cousin It, and this is what makes this DIY so simple, but still sturdy this one up at Lowe's and I believe it was around $4. So now you just want to grab your first hula skirt. You want to take it out of the package and just fluff it up a little bit. So I'm just shaking it out. Now you can see that there are two ties on the end and that's what we're going to use to tie it to our tomato cage. So I'm going to start off with just grabbing one of those ties and you can see up here there are three support poles. So I'm just going to pick any of them and then tie that into a knot. And then once you have it in place, you can start to wrap your hula skirt around that top circle of the tomato cage. Once it is fully wrapped around, you can take that second tie and just secure it in place with another knot. You can really start to see the body of Cousin It taking shape, but it's still looking a little bit thin. So now you're going to want to go ahead and grab your second hula skirt and just repeat that same process. So I'm going to tie a knot with my first string, wrap it around, and then secure it in place with that second string. Here is a close up of how I tied the string to the supports. So now if you have a third hula skirt, you could of course just repeat those same steps just to make it a little bit fuller. I'm just going to leave these two though. And now these top wires, you want to start to bend them in. They do bend pretty easily, but they're a little bit too tall and we want to create a nice little dome shape for our hat to sit on. So I just tuck them into the center and now our hat fits on perfectly. And when we're all done, if you just want to put some hot glue on those wires, you can to so secure it to the hat. But I'm going to take the hat off for a second because I wanted to show you where I'm going to place the sunglasses. This top ring here that I wrapped the hula skirts around is going to act as my base for the sunglasses to basically lean on. So you can kind of see here I'm tucking them into the hula skirt and then I'm going to fold them closed in the back just to hold them in place. But that top metal ring is what they are resting on to give them some support. And now it is time for the final reveal. And in true Adam's Family fashion, I had to make it a little bit mysterious and spooky. I love how this cousin it turned out and it really is so simple. I think this would be awesome inside or even for an outside decor piece. Trick or treaters would get such a kick out of seeing this on Halloween. And of course I had to include my walking hand because he reminds me so much of Thing from the Addams Family. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this DIY. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. More DIYs will be on the way very soon. To subscribe to my channel, you can just click on my picture right here.